Welcome to the Educational e-Platform for Training in Neurological Physiotherapy of the Faculty of Physiotherapy of the University of Valencia. In this video, we will talk about upper limb exercises that we can perform in Parkinson's disease for the shoulder and shoulder girdle and for hand motor skills. Physiotherapy of the upper limb in Parkinson's disease focuses on different therapeutic exercises aimed to the mobility of the shoulder and shoulder girdle and hand motor skill. This video will show key exercises for the shoulder. Remember that before starting any motor activity, it will be necessary to stretch to reduce the increase in basal muscle tone characteristic of Parkinson's disease. This has been shown in another video. Shoulder exercises will aim to promote the amplitude of the range of motion in movements that counteract the maintained flexor pattern of Parkinsonian posture. So this set of exercises will be focused on shoulder flexion and abduction above 90 degrees, limb extension, shoulder external rotation, and scapular mobilization towards adduction. In this sense, caution must be taken with the position of the shoulder before starting the movement, correcting possible interversions of the humeral head that can cause pain in the anterior and superior surface of the shoulder which is common in people with Parkinson's who have a flex position maintained over time. With the help of a stick, the person will perform a complete shoulder flexion movement. The first indication is to hold the stick with shoulder external rotation and supination of the forearm. For more comfort, we will allow a spontaneous separation of the hands. When raising the stick, the arm should exceed the head without the head flexing the neck. If the person has difficulty performing this movement with external rotation and supination, we will allow them to perform it by holding the cane with the pronation of the forearm. We repeat the previous exercise with a variation, bringing the stick behind the head and towards the shoulders. Continuing with exercises of shoulder flexion, we will ask the person to move the stick in forward circles. In the following exercise, the arms will be in 90 degrees abduction and we will ask the person to flex the elbow, surpassing the midline of the body with the arms, backwards in this case. Next, maximum shoulder abduction will be requested in a closed kinematic chain. The person holds the stick with pronated arms and raises the shoulder to maximum abduction while applying the strength of the movement with the lower limb, as seen in the video. To promote shoulder extension within an activity, we will repeat the same exercise but moving the stick behind the body, only as far as it allows to raise the arm without twisting the trunk. An alternative will be to perform repetitive shoulder extensions with the arms and elbows extended, as shown in the video. In this second option, it will be essential to control shoulder antiversion and maintain neutral posture. In the following exercise, the person must perform abduction and adduction of the scapular bones while holding the stick with 90 degrees shoulder flexion and elbows extended. Once the movement exercises have been addressed, low resistance and loads will be included in the shoulder exercises. A practical way to repeat this at home is with two half liter bottles of water. The aim of this is to give more proprioception of the limb and make a more harmonious movement. Finally, the resistance of the elastic band will be used to exercise the scapular muscles and help the scapula itself to take a neutral, adducted and descended position, which does not occur with flexor patterns maintained over time. In the first exercise, we ask the patient, with her elbows extended and her arms at 90 degrees flexion, to separate her hands and tension the band slightly at the expense of shoulder movement and emphasizing on scapular adduction. In the second version, we repeat the same, but with maximum shoulder flexion, placing the hands behind the head. Here we see a third version of the same exercise with flexion of the elbows. The person will tense the band by externally rotating the shoulder while adducting the scapulae. Thank you for using this e-platform.